Hey guys, it's Jasmine again, and I am here to make another video. Of course, why else would I be here? But, um, yeah. So, I got a message from this girl in my inbox, and she was talking about she needed help with um, hygiene. So, I decided to just make a video instead of just messaging her because I have got other questions on, like, my hygiene routine or whatever. And I copied and pasted the message that she sent me. Um, so I'm going to read it to you. It says, a message from anon Anonymous. Hi, I would really appreciate if you not mention my name if you decide to make a YouTube video. I'm sending you this message because I look up to you and I love your videos. I see you as the big sister I never had. I love your personality and I need help. I'm 16 and I'm a sophomore in high school and I really have bad hygiene problems with my lady part. And by lady part, I'm guessing she means her vagina. Um, I have no clue why I take two showers a day, but I sweat a lot. And I was always, and I was wondering, have you ever had this problem? And do you have any tips that could help me out? So instead of just making a video about how to make sure your lady part stays um, fresh, I'm just going to make a whole hygiene video. And I'm just going to start off by what I do in the shower. So in the shower, I use like a whole bunch of stuff really. And I don't use a loafah, you know, like the the sponges because they can hold a lot of bacteria. So I just use a regular washcloth. And I use um, shower gel. Well, first I use a soap, like a bar soap. And I always use this Dow. Um, this Dow, this is the cranberry antioxidants and it smells so good or and i usually use dove whichever one i have at the moment but i really love this doll so i use a bar soap i just rub it all over my body including my lady part and i just wash 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 and then i rinse that off and then i use a shower gel and i usually always use this one this is um strawberries and champagne from um big story secrets and this is my all-time favorite smell like scent like I'm in love with this like I can smell this all day it just smells so good and yummy like I would just yeah it's just amazing <laughs> I love that smell I will always repurchase that and um so I use this with my washcloth I just put some on there and then I just rub it all over my body like a cleansing motion you know just rubbing and I also put that on my lady part some people um can't put that down there because they is like very sensitive or whatever but I haven't had any problems with it but I don't really recommend you do that I just do it because yeah but some people don't have problems with that and I'm one of those people who don't have problems so I do use like shower gels and fragrance stuff down there so then after I do that um I do that twice with the shower gel I do the shower gel twice and then after that I use the summer's eve um delicate blossom cleansing wash for sensitive skin and this is to help with smell and odor um on your in your vagina or around your vagina wherever the smell comes from your vagina um i use this down there i just take some in my hand and i rub it in my fingers or whatever and then i just rub it on my lady part and cleanse it and then i just wipe it off with the washcloth and then if you have a handheld shower thing it's good to use that so make sure you get it all off and that is basically all I've done in the shower as far as washing and then after I wash I um I shave I shave um every day except on my bath days I take um except on my bath day I take one bath a week because I feel like you need to soak your lady part every now and then so I take um one bath a week and then the rest showers so I take shower 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 it's like shower 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 and then bath and then shower 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 if you get what I'm saying so it's like I take my bath in the middle of the week so when I, I shave every day pretty much every day and I use this um skin timid um signature sense moisturizing shaving gel and this is a limited edition one it's um strawberry tangerine twist and i'm sorry if you hear um noise in the background people are outside working on my line 
but yeah i use this i shave every day and i just use a regular razor um i think it's by i don't know what it's called it's that something with the v i don't know how to pronounce it but it's something with the v so i use that razor like i said i shave every day i shave my underarms and my legs and my lady part i do shave my vagina some people don't some people do some people get bikini waxes or bazillion waxes i just can't do that yet because i'm not good with pain and i know i'll probably literally die while i'm having it done so yeah i shave every day except on my bath day and shaving your vagina can really help with um sorry i keep looking at my phone because it keeps going off but um i shaving um is pr a proving fact to help cut down smell so yeah if you're like 9 or 10 or 12 or something watching my videos i don't recommend you shave your vagina it's just when you get older i do like i think you should start shaving when you're like if you want to shave i think you should start at like 15 but if you're like younger than 15 please do not tell your mom that jasmine from la bella jasmine told you to shave your vagina because i did it i don't think you should i probably started shaving when i was in eighth grade i think or ninth grade shaving my vagina my vajayjay but yeah so i shave that every day because i it just grows so fast like your hair down there i'm sorry if you're really sensitive about this topic then you probably shouldn't watch this video yeah, I should have said that at the beginning. I'll just put a little annotation thingy. But yeah, so I shave and do all that every day except on my bath day. And um, then after I get out the shower, I um, I put my I dry off, of course. And then I put lotion, any type of lotion, on my whole all of, all over my body. And I use um, olive oil, which I forgot to bring. I just mix some of it with I just mix some of it with my lotion and it just makes my skin really soft. And then I spray shower gel, I mean shower gel, body spray all over my body, which is this is strawberries and champagne, which I told you this is like my favorite smell ever. Love it. I will always and forever love you. Thank you, Victoria's Secrets, for making this. Yeah, best ever. Strawberries and champagne. So I just spray this all over everywhere. It's a, I don't spray on my vagina, just to let you know. I don't, and so I just spray that everywhere and then I just let that soak in and let it breathe. And then I put on night clothes or clothes, whatever, if it's night or day, whatever. So then that's that. That's really, that's my hygiene routine. And then I put on my deodorant. And I use, I have so many deodorants. I just switch up every now and then. These are two that I really love. This is the Dove. Um, I freaking love this deodorant. Like, I would totally recommend this because it's just the best. This is the Fresh, just got fresher Dove Ultimate Go Fresh um, Cool Essentials Cucumber and Green Tea Scent. And they have a shower gel like this, and it smells freaking amazing. So, that's what I use. And this is another one that I use um, Secret Outlast. And this is the Unscented one. And this is supposed to be 48 hour protection, but yeah, no. But yeah, so that's what I use. So that's that, all of that taken care of. And I'm not going to talk about like what I do with my face because I'm about to make a separate video about that after this video. And then so after that, like, okay, so I'm going to talk about vagina. Um, keeping your vagina fresh. Like I said, taking baths, like soaking your vagina, like soaking in the bathtub can really cut down on smell really. But then you don't want to take too many baths because you can get a bacteria infection from taking baths so i've heard i don't know for sure but that's what i've heard so like i said this really helps like a feminine wash and you want to make sure you get one that says ph balance because ph balance like you don't want to throw off the ph down there because that can also cause smell so summer Eve is the one that's ph balance and uh is that what's the other one summer's eve and I don't know. I that's total brain fart because I definitely use. Okay, I'll just yeah. I don't know. I'll put it down in the bottom bar when I figure it out. But yeah, so that one you want to make sure it has its pH balance and prep and probably um dermatologist tested or gynecologist sorry <laughs> gynecologist tested not dermatologist. Wow, Jasmine, that was so slow. But okay, yeah. And so another thing that you can you can do that help cut down on smell is using um, feminine wipes instead of using tissue paper. Like every time you go to the bathroom, use um, a wipe. And this is just the Always brand. 
and they come indivi individually packaged so you just like take it out the package and use it but you can also get some from summer's eve and it comes in like a little container like you know how baby wipes come it comes like that where you can just pull one out or whatever so you can use that one for a home and then these for when you're on the go and i think that is a good alternative for using tissue paper because it also helps with the freshman freshness and then also they have sprays and i don't i forgot freak I love it in the bathroom, they the sprays, like I use mine from Summer's Eve and it's just a freshening spray that you, you can spray on your, you spray on your underwear and it just helps you stay fresh also, but I don't use that every day, just, I don't really use that that much because I don't really have too many problems with snow. And then another thing is if you sweat a lot, you can use baby powder and this is um just the cucumber melon one and it's from Johnson's. You can use baby powder. Just sprinkle a little bit in your underwear and it helps a little bit. So that's really all I do. And then like, yeah, if you have serious smell and nothing's curing your smell um, with on your JJ or in your JJ or whatever, or you have a really bad smell coming from there, you probably should see a doctor because you could, it's possible, it's a possibility that you could have a bacteria infection and um you want to get the medicine or medication or ointment or whatever you need to cure that before it gets too bad so yeah always go see your gonna your OBGYN. there you go just to make sure everything's okay and keeping yourself clean so that's my hygiene routine and how to help with smell and stuff I hope this helped you guys and if you have any other questions always feel free to inbox me and um, leave comments in the comment section or whatever and I'll try my best to get back to you guys and I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video which is about to be now my skincare routine so yeah I'll talk to you guys later oh and I forgot to say that um, a woman's hygiene is like so important like I feel like a woman's hygiene is like one of the most important things like a woman should a lady should always smell nice I feel like that's just the worst to smell a stinking <laughs> okay let me not say that but just know um, a woman's hygiene is like really important and I think every lady should smell nice and it's just something that I don't know it's just I really hate to smell a woman that smells bad like I just don't get it like why do you smell like that yeah okay I'm sorry but yeah, I'm just saying but also remember that every clean and healthy vagina has a smell it's not a it doesn't have to be a horrible smell or anything but every healthy clean vagina has a smell like it just does that's doctors say that like every vagina for JJ lady part whatever you want to call it has a smell like that's just how it's gonna be but not like a horrible it's not a bad smell it's just I don't know everybody has a different smell so I don't know what to say about that but I'm just saying like don't think your redundant is just gonna smell like water because water doesn't smell like anything I don't know how to explain it but it's not gonna smell I don't know but yeah just saying I just wanted to make sure you guys understand that and once again I hope this helps and I'll see you guys in the next video bye